let's make sure we're coming in live and there we are nice nice hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today is war day <laughs> it is january 30th 2022 and uh the game plan for today is uh we're gonna take a look at a gift uh care package that was sent to me a uh, couple of months ago now uh, maybe three months ago i can't remember actually i should know i have the link here uh but let's say a couple of months ago and i'll share the link here and i'll have the link in the description of this video once it's been uploaded uh to other stream uh the other platforms uncharted days how are you doing hey chicho how are you doing been a long time since i caught a stream glad to have you on uncharted days uh nice stream you've decided to pop into because we're going to take a look at the care package two board games cheryl <laughs> we're going to look at uh axis and allies europe okay and there's they're basically the same game right and axis and allies pacific now my initial idea was to set up the cameras where we just open these things up and we opened it up uh, in the video previous video the care package that was sent and then lay out the thing but my table is not big enough to hold the whole <laughs> game <laughs> I'd have to build something up. So we don't even have the whole game, the whole board set up. I'll show you the angles that we're going to use. Oh my God, how are you doing? It's Sunday and it's Chicho time. Awesome. We, we, at Sundays, I try to schedule in at least. Uh, Sundays is sort of my to-go-to thing, uh, trying to get uh, videos in. I know we've been going a little slow on things because we're waging our own wars and winning a few battles large battles we've landed in normandy now we've got to just make our way through <laughs> right uh, sort of related to axis and allies and uh, real life um but basically that's what the game plan is for today is to take a look at axis and allies global war axis and allies pacific and um uh, uh what do you call it europe right pacific and europe and let me show you the angles that we have uh set up here so this is uh and i'm going to change this angle once we go into full board mode right but basically let's have some fascist elder god says <laughs> uh, so so check this out so this is the board this is one of the pieces that we couldn't fit in it's like four pieces it's just too big uh cheryl by the way and i can mention it later if you don't mind but steam has the digital version of axis and allies on sale right now if anyone wants to play but doesn't have the game or doesn't have someone to play with awesome awesome and i've played i've played old school digital version i'm not sure what the steam version is but there's an axis and allies a cd game that came out that we used to play online and it was fun it was fun it, it really was uh as close uh, it's there's nothing like playing an actual board game right access and allies but online was pretty fun pretty fun super fun especially when the random dice throws don't end up being so random nicholas how are you doing hey chicho hey chad glad i caught this one awesome glad to have you nicholas Woo as they say we got a mod party going on we got a mod party going on so check out check this out we're gonna look at the top view so this is this is i'll open this <laughs> i should open this up now so take a look at this thing so this is the pacific half of the pacific that i just couldn't fit on my gigantic table here right it's just too big okay so just picture this this guy would go at the end here right this guy goes at the end here oh, actually i should do my little intro uh, let me do my little intro while we wait for people to pop in i should do that uh because we want to give everyone enough time to pop in and uh jay lebaron was the one that sent us this and he knows about the uh the the what do you call it uh this stream today so hopefully he'll get a chance uh to pop in ronnie how are you doing we just started brother four minutes and happy sunday happy sunday indeed and gang while we wait 
for people to roll in. If you want to know what this is about, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Chicho. I should have put it over here, over here, right? Patreon.com forward slash Chicho. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. Crack. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Can't stay long, but wanted to check in. Awesome, crack. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday, brother. Uh, I resigned from my job last Friday. Ha ha! Awesome. I hope you like that. You got a big smiley face going on, Ronnie. So that's good. That's good. Uh, so for those of you supporting this work on Patreon Gang, thank you very much for the support. Crack, are you a fan of other war games at all? Historical Star Wars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, Crack. War games is... Um, um, we started playing board games when I was a little kid with Monopoly... Um, life mad the clue and all that jazz right but really delved into board games with avalon hill board games right specifically avalon hill panzer blitz and avalon hill squad leader we played so much squad leader amazing and then you know we we, we got into avalon hill games squad leader and panzer blitz before risk right before axes and allies and then we got into uh, risk uh, and then axes and allies once we got into axes and allies we didn't do risk too much right um and and all that jazz and diplomacy of course of course hopefully good good reasons yeah cheryl to ronnie hopefully good reasons yeah just got another job offer awesome awesome ronnie avalon hill nice man yeah i still have our old avalon hill games even have we even played avalon hill dune i got two sets of avalon hill dune uh, and the expansion packs and avalon hill dune game is fantastic that one of the avalon hill dune games that i have is actually um i'm the person i bought it online back in mid 1990s from someone in florida on a forum i asked someone if they had an avalon hill dune game they said yeah and i bought it and they got the expansion packs and stuff and he sent it to me brand new and i I just had to do it. I cracked it open, took the seal off, and popped up a couple of the chips, and then put it back. I shouldn't have opened it up. It's probably worth a lot more uh, if it's not opened up, right? But uh, I ain't going to be selling it anytime, right? Uh, nice, nice. Thanks. Crack. I have a bunch as well. Oh, man, the OG Dune. OG Dune is amazing. I got the reprint a couple of years ago. Such a fun game. Such a fun game. The Benny Jesuit. Wow, wow, wow. It, our code, yeah, fantastic. Again, if you love Dune, really, if you love Dune, the book, the movie, the TV series that was out and stuff like this, and if you like board games, highly recommend tracking down Avalon, Avalon Hill Dune board game. Super fun, super fun. I'm going to miss the old job and the people. Ah, that's good, Ronnie. If you're going to miss the old job, it means you did a good thing and you made connections. So that's okay. Hopefully you love the new job. Twist. Peace. How you doing? Crap. Ambush is another favorite of mine from the Apple. Oh, I've never played Ambush. We played Kingmaker. Uh, Kingmaker? Um, Knight's King? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, we, did we, have a, we had a group that had different board games, Avalon Hill games. Um, King... I forget what it is. It's a UK based game. It's like trying to con conquer UK, being kings. Uh, super fun. Fear is the mind killer. I must not fear. Indeed. And our society, it's so relevant to today's time. So relevant to today's time. And, gang, if you want to be here during the live streams, we are live streaming on pop, pop, Twitch. So, if you want to participate in the chat doo -doo, over here, uh, Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, thank you very much for the support on Twitch. It is in large part because of the support we get on Twitch and Patreon that we're able to do what it is that we are doing. And as always, mods, thank you for being here and taking care of business. Thank you for being here and taking care of business. Lonely Piggy, how you doing? Hey, Chicho and Chad. Hope everyone's doing solid and happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Gang, we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Minds, VK Gap, Parlor, Getter, and BitCloud. You can follow the work there as well as join our Discord page. We do have a Discord page, a lot of activity and a lot of forums, a lot of folders, uh, a lot of servers. So 
you're welcome to join us there and participate in discussions that we're having and the links will be in the description of this video for live streams when we don't have any visuals which we do today we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream to all four video sharing platforms sensor to Bitchute, rumble and odyssey hopefully sensor tube doesn't have any issues with us fighting fascists in in, in uh, historical war board games and relating it to the present fascistic tendencies of certain parts of the world elder god chicho board games video clowny haha I love board games. I love Chicho board games. <laughs> I'm awesome. Crazy bro Athens, how are you doing? <laughs> Hi everyone. Hope you are all doing fine. Nice little uh, emote gif. Actually, we do have a space to add load more uh, emotes on Twitch and gif emotes. So I'm going to look into that. Joe, how are you doing? I played a game Scrabble last night which went on for nearly three hours. Very nice, very nice. Lots of love right back, crazy bro Athens. Awesome, clown. This is my dream come true. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> Only Peggy sent my very first batch of comics to be graded by CGC. Oh, right on, man. It's expensive. It's expensive. It's crazy expensive. Let me take these guys down, gang. I have to ask you, Cho, snack presentation. Snack, I got, uh, I just got some uh, just raw cashews, right? Uh, every now and then I just go off on cashews a little bit. Uh, I know they're, you know, they're not nuts, they're seeds. And uh, they're fatty, I believe. Uh, they're not as, uh, contain as much bang as walnuts and almonds. And, uh, uh, macadamia nuts are super powerful too but these things are yummy nice snack and tea and water i got crazy boy bro i doing fine thanks for asking awesome canadian truck gift mm -hmm. uh, indeed if, uh, elder god find one for us we'll load it up so we never forget and every now and then these cashews when i get them i roast them up and ro super good roasted up too uh, john i have cashews sitting in water right now oh you do water okay i do water with uh walnuts and uh, um, almonds not all the time but walnuts and almonds if you find by the way food advice if you find that nuts are hard to digest uh, sort of tough on the tummy uh, put them in water and let them sit in water for a while right to absorb the water and they become easier to digest so anyone that has i don't want to say nut allergies you know take this with a grain of salt if you have got allergies to any types of food don't eat them you'll die right? <laughs> or have a very bad time but if you find them hard to digest uh, soaking them in water and then eating them afterwards is uh, um, that's what uh, that's a Persian style sort of thing, especially for walnuts and almonds as well. And when they sit in water, you can peel the skin as well. The skin comes off easy. Lonely Piggy, it's not so much the grading per comic, but the return shipping, $95 USD. Ouch, it's crazy. But hopefully the grades make it worth it. Otherwise, oh well, oh well. Right? Love cashews. Denpai. Yuki says micro toast what kind of tea are you drinking i'm just drink drinking uh persian black tea it's a mix of sometimes i do it, it's actually a mix of two different blends together uh, but you can think of it as like earl gray orange pico cyan um, cardamom sometimes i like my persian black tea not back from milk perhaps hmm. cheryl I just discovered using walnuts with pasta. Oh yeah, walnuts and pasta is amazing. I never would have thought to combine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing walnuts in. Uh, actually, we have a. Uh, there's certain dishes, Persian and Armenian dishes, that 
use a lot of walnuts. Walnuts is amazing. No, no, micro twist, never, never. Well, I, I can't say never tea bags. Sometimes, every now and then, tea bags, because we get them gifts and stuff like this, but rare. It's loose leaf tea we use, or flowers that we've harvested, herbs that we've harvested, uh, or fresh herbs that we've bought. Um, like, never, again, not never. Once in a blue moon, I'll use a tea bag, but loose leaf tea, simmering. Uh, that's the way we do it. Sven, Sven Stefansson, <laughs> how are you doing? Welcome back. Try poppy seed on pasta. Ooh, if you can buy it, kind of rare these days. Oh, poppy seed, I've never tried. Real MC Mike, allow. How are you doing? My uh, Twitch has zapped it. And gang, before we begin, before we begin, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Sensor Tube. Chemicals. Yeah, Micro Twist says tea bags are just a bunch of chemicals. Not good for you. Not good for you. But what kind of saw? Ta -ta 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 -ta. I can get a big F just <laughs> just <a little. laughs> Castro's third it is <laughs> free Julian Assange uh, Sven said no sauce it's a traditional dish in Hungary just seeds as I know I don't like it though my father does a lot really just poppy seeds is the paste so just pasta and poppy seeds hmm. Cheryl make it let us know what it's like <laughs> gang let me show you the setup we got here Liz, how are you doing hey chicho hope you're good and healthy indeed indeed doing well thank you very much being rejuvenated by battles being won in real life and the rest of chat of course indeed chicho what is the most unhealthy thing you eat uh sugar uh sugar sugar is brutal right like uh, i go through cleanses every now and then and i stop eating a lot of sugar and then once you once you take sugar out of your diet like processed sugar like chocolates and stuff like this or or do a cleanse right and then you go back to sugar like you eat a little piece of chocolate and it's like oh my god this is so strong but then once you eat a lot and that's that's the beauty and the problem with human beings our bodies we are very adaptable creatures human beings seriously gang we are so adaptable uh we can manipulate or m we can easily be manipulated into doing things as well but we're very adaptable uh so under pressure we adapt to the pressure if we eat something that's very strong we adapt to that taste and it's not as strong anymore right so once you take eliminate certain things that are bad for you in life right once you start consuming them after a certain break you find out how strong those things are right lonely piggy while well, i sent some comics to be graded for the first time i also purchased my first three graded comics nice waiting for two in the mail now but we'll post a, a trio on discord when I, I get them all very awesome lonely piggy and just a heads up on a uh, well i'll give you guys an update on the comic book because it's related to current events um but i'm going to start buying more comics online so we'll probably start going to be starting doing more comic book hauls okay never have poppy seed bread oh poppy seed bread is amazing can get it at subway oh yeah i wouldn't buy poppy seed i wouldn't buy bread at subway <laughs> they had they came up with some nasty chemicals in there sugar is evil unfortunately addictive very addictive very addictive ronnie i'm originally from south korea but i grew up in america when i visited south korea everything tasted so bland because i'm used to extra salty american food uh south korea has super strong food man kimchi bulgogi kalbi japje um i love korean food Go spicy can definitely relate to the sugar point uh list says uh recently i ate the same amount of caramel popcorn in the cinema i ate as a teen and felt sick yeah 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 fast food and sodas yeah i thankfully i eliminated sodas a long time ago a long time ago 
oh cheryl you looked at the poppy seed thing looks amazing yeah yeah cheryl if you can or whoever link it up for us in our discord in the food section i'll take a look as well they ain't any salty relatively in america wow wow lonely piggy yeah i heard south korea it, it is very salty food lonely piggy comic hauls videos and honey videos what pulled me to your channel awesome we actually have got some more honey buckets can't even get tuna right yeah subway yeah stopped korea food is so healthy overall yeah i agree i think korean food is one of the most powerful asian foods you can eat i love it man i'm craving uh both gugi right now and the bibimbap oh bibimbap so good and all the little dishes they bring at the restaurants korean food oh all those little things are so good oh korean barbecue mc mike so good chinese as well uh Sichuan, Sichuan, yum yum, Cajun. Uh, Thai food is my favorite. Elegant says Western food in the U.S. is much much saltier than British equivalent. Domino, oh Domino's pizza in the U.S. is like seawater to a British taste. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> the side dishes, the salad they call it. Asian food rarely disappoints. Rarely, rarely. Gang, take a look at this thing. This is one of the pieces that i couldn't fit on our board it's huge yeah when you put it all together it's 72 inches by 32 inches i believe okay 72 inches by 32 or 36 inches so we got the length though the height the width correctly but the length is i don't have enough big enough table i thought i could have fit it but it didn't work out right so this is the angle we're going to look at some of the stuff okay so this guy here let me show you this so over here this is here i'm gonna keep my hand here and take a look this is here right let me show you the size of this board okay i'm gonna change the angle 32 uh, 72 by 32 inches yeah it's huge 32 inches let's see i'm gonna check the back of this thing yeah set oh 70 by 32 inches okay 70 by 32 inches now take a look at this thing i'm about to move this camera span it this way so you see this thing right so i'm just gonna move it up take a look i see that see that part sticking up that's supposed to go at the end this is how large this is and this is the camera that we're looking down on here all right so it's a huge board now for my cousins and i to be able to play on this board i'm gonna have to build something if they end up coming here right the odds are we'll have to uh, play at their place okay once we get a chance it, it's oh, huge it's it's huge <laughs> it's awesome and just to give you a size comparison just to give you a size comparison this is check this out this is the original we've got two copies of the original axes and allies game right and these things are we've played so much these things are like trashed right because we played so much of this here is the original board of the axis and allies Just so you get a feel of how grand this is and the original axis and allies board is the whole map this whole map as well right uh pawn how are you doing i think they use this map at the <laughs> world economic forum to plot the world domination <laughs> check this out so what you're seeing here this 70 by 32 inch board is a redrawing of this right so this is what we have right? and the original axis and allies game has these are the players you can be you can be the united states right you can be uk you can be germany you can be russia and you can be japan okay this board game world board game they've in included china as well 
I believe I haven't looked at the rules by the way we're gonna look at this is the first time I'm looking at this board game laid out right I I promised uh, Jay LeBaron uh, he knows we're doing this thing today so hopefully he'll get a chance because he sent me this as a care package right um, I, I promised them that we would look at it during a live stream for my first time Nicholas if we were the same country I could have made you a custom game table that extends to fit the game. Oh, Nicholas, that would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. Just doop, 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 doop. bring it out, eh? Oh, man. There, there was a time in my life where I actually thought about creating a 3D version of Ax uh, not Ax uh, uh, Squad Leader board game, right? So taking all the elevation heights they have, building and building a 3D version of it because line of sight in that game is extremely important as well. It's a different type of war game than Axis and Allies, right? But one day, seriously, we're gonna do this together. One day we're gonna have a, a space where we're gonna have board games set up with cameras and possibly build 3D versions of uh, either Panzer Blitz or Squad Leader or another board game that we're gonna decide, okay? what no australia no australia would be considered part of the uk right at that time anyway okay cheryl we haven't opened ours you haven't opened yours yet oh cheryl i thought for sure you're going to play during christmas time maybe that's an awesome idea a table topper or full table pond in the next edition of this game they need to add the lizard people <laughs> they would be down south <laughs> <laughs> Antarctica and uh, we're gonna have satellite views of things that we're not allowed to see right now I can't wait for this board game setup oh man for sure so keep this in mind this board game okay the global war that comes in two different boxes is a scaled up version of this this map right here okay that's what that is with more provinces and how uh, does it have, must have more provinces on it um let me check yeah it does so there's little extra land masses that they've added right still plastic wrap yeah the board uh, by the way uh cheryl is uh, mentioning about an axis and allies uh board game that i had won back in early 2000s i believe yeah it must have been early 2000s right that i won during a diplomacy tournament that it was brand new and i hadn't cracked it open because we had like two three versions of accent allies already and we gave it away or we auctioned it off during our yearly twitch auction stream for our points and cheryl won it so i sent it to her right uh so cheryl says it's still plastic wrapped breaking that seal always makes me <laughs> anxious and it's a 20 year old you know whatever uh approximately 20 year old uh board game right clowny says i also need to open access and analyze 1942 on diplomacy to play nice i bought a jumanji haha <laughs> nice elegant i suddenly had a, a vision of a digital version of this game winner takes iceland <laughs> <laughs> or Greenland right so keep that in mind this is huge what we got here it would be magnificent all right magnificent so let me put this guy back in here adjust myself so I have room to maneuver okay now what I think we should do, let me change my camera angle here. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, and let me unlock this. I'm gonna make this screen smaller. Uh, Nicholas to Cheryl, a full table can make them pretty portable uh, to fold away somewhere and then you unfold the size required. The table is not gonna take the weight uh, of say a uh, uh, regular table but more than sturdy enough 
for games to be played on with drinks and snack to rest on also our gaming group has a game called gloomhaven and we need a table made for that as well nice oh nicholas i want to go to the uk iceland is hacker hacker central but i didn't say this so check this out i'm going to make this smaller and we're going to go view here okay we're going to go top view hey come here i'm going to make this hey come on we're going to make ourselves a little smaller okay it's raining again on a sunday rainy sunday and board games gang awesome 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 and again don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for revealing war crimes of centralized power okay for trying to bring transparency and accountability to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2. so what i'm going to do again right now we're going to move so check this out i'm going to take this guy down too so this is our tripod that we've set up here right so i'm going to bring this over here so we're going to look at it here so the camera at the top view is more closer to me so we can open up the rule book and take a look at it right oh gosh that uh tippy tap might knock me out nice sleepy time it's okay time board games rain and coffee that is my coziness of uh, coziness or tea or tea and sometimes drinks and snacks and oh man i'm craving board games with the family so let me take it to top view again Pop. let me bring it here and i'm gonna move this and we're gonna bring it to africa top here because i can sort of reach over and have the board game showing right i have the rules showing and let's bring out we want uh, da, 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 da. we want europe because europe is going to have africa on it so we're gonna place uh units on here and just go through it and take a look at the rule book on this okay axes and allies europe 1940 uh pawn it's raining because she shows plotting world domination wait for the thunderclap <laughs> awesome fun stuff fun stuff fun stuff fun stuff cheryl indeed learning is a long-term goal uh but for now i just build uh vicariously through free twitch makers nice great community great community check this out so this thing says uh ages 12 and up right okay and when I was setting this up, I sort of try, was trying to find out where the setup was for all this, right? So what we have here is basically a table of contents. Let me show you the table of contents for this rule book, right? Table of contents for this rule book is uh, game components, uh, summary of play, how the war is won, setup, right? Uh, the political situation. <coughs> you. order of play and the order of play uh purchase and repair units combat move Whoop. let's see if it focuses Doop. come on mm, yeah. there it is uh conduct combat non-combat move mobilize units and collect income that's the last guy and this is per player okay per player son clover <laughs> clover bless you as well brother or sister of course right so each unit each player goes through one of these motions or order of play and then once they collect their income the next person goes through the same uh, cycle same sync right over 30 minutes to get my twitch 
log into work but i'm here lebaron how are you doing gang jay lebaron is the one that sent us this game lebaron I, we, we did some intro and i sort of um we just started getting into the board game and stuff talk about the size and stuff like this like 10 minutes ago five minutes ago right you can set it up in less than an hour <laughs> look baron i couldn't fit it all into our, our on my table i thought this would fit it all in so if you take a look uh we're gonna hold on let, let me do this Boop. so this is le baron this is the beginning of it right we've got the united states east coast of the united states coming in right going across so let me just show the baron where, where we're at take a look and if we scan up i couldn't get the baron i could on our table i couldn't get the last thing to flatten down so i have to build something for our gaming group to be able to play at my place right or i take the board games which is a legit thing to do go to our cousin's place to play this game uh to set it up because they got a gigantic table and we're gonna do that uh next time i go um uh, because they're in vancouver i'm in victoria next time i go there i'm gonna let them know i'm coming over we're gonna play world war right world war uh oh my god translated kill first money later so Let's go back to this view because we're going to look at the this thing and I'm going to bring out uh, the pieces and stuff like this. Just show you guys uh, the whole thing and LeBaron's here. So that's fantastic. Um, that way um, he can correct us and anything that we need to figure out. Right. So basically uh, and then winning the game uh, unit unit profiles, global rules, access and analyze game uh, piece directory and stuff like that. So. Uh, it has different things, uh, different sections that you can take a look at. Okay. LeBaron. Ha. It does require large. I thought I had large enough table. I don't. Uh, so basically, I looked at this for the setup. And the setup basically is on these things, the pieces. So I'm going to bring these out. Right? Crazy Bro Athens. Do you have... Uh, many board games in your collection i have some crazy bro athens if you do chicho board game um i have a video out there showing my board game collection uh i believe it's just one video it might be two videos uh, and i have video out there three videos out there three parties showing my uh, gaming console and computer game collection this game really boosts a validity of the flat earth <laughs> Hilarious. so take a look at this thing take a look at this thing let's bring these guys in so this is what's contained right what's contained in the box and both boxes contain the same type of thing but the different pieces right uh, my buffet table is big enough actually for two maps nice or one and some curry so check this out so we got research and development chart and this is a sort of technology that you can uh, you could sort of gamble on right the the way it works for the original access and allies board game is sort of you can develop you can put money towards ipc units which is ipc stands for uh income lebaron what does ipc stand for i forget what ipc stands for ipc 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 uh, production credits industrial production credits check this out and this is huge by the way see this here this one ipc is industrial production credit and that's when you collect the money for the amount of lands industries you have and stuff like this right so you can consider ipc industrial credit units in this units in this game to be gdp right so i followed were you know i like history and i've read a lot about war uh especially world war one world war two a vietnam war a little bit about korean war just basically wars in the last century but i remember one amazing article i read uh 
from a historian it was a multi multi piece article that said stated that as soon as the united states entered world war ii right churchill celebrated and he announced to his cabinet that the allies had just won the war because when the united states entered world war ii their gdp surpassed the gdp of the axes right because at the time you had germany italy japan main ones right and their gdp was higher than the combined gdp of uk france and the allies at the time and russia right so as soon as the united states entered the war their gdp increased so they could buy produce more than the axes so the longer the war went on the more discrepancy that would be prevalent in waging war right so the amount of money that you generate in any war game which mimics real life is extremely important as to the health of that nation and their um uh, what do you call it ability to wage war right so ipc is really based on how much land you conquer industrial production credit yeah so one thing you can do with your money in this game is put it through research and development r and d right and it's basically in this game all you do you say okay i'm going to put a certain amount of ipc units to try to develop advanced artillery right so for example uh, breakthrough chart breakthrough advanced artillery or super subs or rockets or jet fighters or paratroopers improved ship shipping um oh they got radar here they got some additional art uh what do you call it uh, uh r d stuff that they can do tech stuff long range aircraft is huge right now one thing and oma the heavy bomber is amazing for when you play regular axis and allies but for us when we play axis and allies with our um, gaming group not all the time we allow research and development because someone could become extremely lucky and all you do you put money towards as ipc units towards you you roll a dice and if you get a six if i recall correct a six you get that development right um, but it really throws the the game into chaos to a certain degree because if somebody develops heavy bombers right then they're at a huge advantage relative to someone that doesn't have heavy bombers and if they're not lucky enough to roll the right type of dice so it could throw the game into a little bit of chaos and imbalance right so there are a lot of times that we don't play with uh with developing technology i don't know if that's the case with you guys LeBaron. do you guys always include uh being able to develop tech when you play uh axis and allies or global war crazy bro athens world war is based on the factory output ability usa managed to make huge change into wep weapon pro uh, producing war facilities yeah and one of the things that is known in history is that during times of war there's huge advancements in technology for human beings in human society right so one of the explanations as to why we have developed in the last hundred years so much tech i mean if you look at look back at it right go back 150 years horse and carriage was the main mode of transportation right now you got planes trains automobiles we got supersonic jets and missiles and stuff just look at the technological advancement we have had in the last 150 years right and a lot of that can be attributed to war okay unfortunately unfortunately okay elder god if germany had started r d a bit sooner who knows what could have happened indeed indeed pond this is already my favorite stream topic nerdgasm gonna order this game awesome fun <laughs> amazing i'm like seriously i was giddy like mad when 
LeBaron said this. I, I was not expecting it, right? And my gaming group is crazy uh, happy about it. Crazy happy about it. Uh, LeBaron, um, we always allow tech, but we find it doesn't sway it so much in this game as the original. Oh, really? Okay, okay, that's good to know. In the original game, Axis and Allies original game, it sways it so much, so much, especially heavy bombers. Heavy bombers and long range aircraft really change the game a lot. And super subs are pretty cool. <laughs> okay, super subs are pretty cool. Crazy Bro Athens, a fun fact of World War II is that the last pan Panzer tanks were produced by Switzerland for Germany. Really, allies were wondering where the Panzer tanks were produced and they they were made in switzerland in neutral ground solar crazy and that's the thing with switzerland a lot of people say switzerland all oh, is a peace peace place and stuff like this no they have a lot of a lot of war uh production and as general smedley butler would say that we did the reading for for his book war is a racket all wars are bankers wars uh what is this thing uh attacker I don't know what this guy is we don't we didn't have that in the original one so i would have to look that up okay this thing popped out so let's put this here here are the pieces that you have right so when you conquer territory piece of property right let me move this over so when you conquer a piece of property like right now this says this is british property right uh anglo egyptian sudan right so let's say germany comes in and takes it right what you do is throw this on here so you know it's germany's throughout the game right now usually we don't have these if your front line is already in axis and ass because it clutters up the space but in this i can see you can put all these little pieces on here right so let's say germany comes in and conquers all this you put these on because at the end of each person's turn right at the end of each person's turn so for example in this where we had let's go to the table of contents right that's the battle board for unit values that's the battle board for unit values da, 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 da. this one oh or less two okay 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 that's cool yeah this 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 thing's amazing by the way it it yeah once you play axis and allies a while you play, i'm pretty sure once we play this we won't go back to regular axis and allies so take a look at this thing so at the end of the so this is a player's turn right a player goes through uh where is it don't 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 come on focus come on order of play let's see Boop. so order of play per player they go uh through purchase and unit uh repair units so that's where you spend your money before at the beginning of your turn and at the end of your turn here where it says collect income what you end up doing after an individual's turn is done you count the number of lands that they have and the number you see here one ipc one ipc so for example if germany has germany have will have way more than this of course right but let's assume germany has these five units five pieces of land here there would be one two three four five ipc units they're collecting here right and then there are centers of where you collect a lot of money so for example berlin up here is five ipc so there are land masses that are worth a lot more units than other land masses okay which is which is sort of weird interesting since let me bring you the old axis and allies board game let me show you this so in the old axis and allies board game if you take a look at this 
the African countries' land masses, except for South Africa, this is worth two units, but these are all worth one unit, right? So there's more land masses in the new version, but Germany, oops, uh, Berlin, which is, you know, Germany in this, is worth, let me bring this up, 10 IPCs, okay, where you see the, basically, the German flag there, right, the Nazi flag, 10 IPCs, but in this one, uh, Berlin is only worth 5 IPCs, okay, so because there are more land masses, they distributed out the IPC units, uh, the numbers are so much more clear on your map. I have a first edition and they are harder to see. Oh, really? Okay, okay, okay. They do advancements. I would love to get an unopened first version of this thing. Expensive. I looked online too. But newer versions are better for playing because they clarify certain rules. They, they, they make the numbers bigger. Things are clear, right? So... The first versions you can consider them as draft versions. They're good for collectibles. The better, the later versions are good for playing. <laughs> right? Pawn. Do they have a Middle East, uh, Middle Earth version? A 1984 version of this game uh, with Oceania, Oceania, Eurasia, East Asia uh, would be cool. I, as far as I know, no. But uh, you can think about it as present day too close to real life <laughs> right so let's put that there now check this out i'm gonna put these guys okay in the german uh, box okay that way everything's contained so if you look at the german box right it's got all your pieces here all right we'll crack open um this is let's see who's on this in Africa Africa should have ah, okay cool so what does Africa have who's the Africa has check this out if we look at the board game Africa's got and seriously like this thing spans so much like I, I, we can't cover it all right we'll have to if well at some point we'll do a real life just the way we play it uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, we did Monopoly board game with uh, family. At some point, we'll do this as well. But we need a crazy setup to be able to show everything. Sort of camera on wheels to scan the area where the war battle is being waged. Right? Wow, that would be super cool, right? But right now in Africa, we have UK has land masses, right? United States has land masses. And France has land masses. So what we'll do for Africa, and we can do it for we could do it probably for Europe if we scan up. Right? Take a look. Doop. You got Germany here, right? Unfortunately the thing's gonna go off. Doop. <laughs> look, that's Germany up there. My tripod is gonna go off the table if I try to zoom into that area, right? So maybe we'll do set up the pieces for Northern Africa and Europe. And you can come over here and you can do the United States as well. But United States is sort of broken into East and West Coast, right? The East Coast is here and the West Coast is like way up here that we can't even set up. So I think we'll focus on Northern Africa and Europe and just put the pieces on the board. Okay, LeBaron, the numbers are so much at the bottom. We're at that pawn. Uh, yeah, we're at that LeBaron. We used the second edition rules on the first edition map. Uh, they cleared up the rules for uh, second edition, just like you say. Yeah, and that's uh, that's really the general rule, gang. If you're playing board games, any type of board games, right? Uh, look into... Uh, clarification of rules diplomacy uh, has done this as well there's been uh, earlier editions of diplomacy there were certain places where the rules weren't as clear right and later editions they clarify some of the rules uh, of the game so it's always um, important to stay up to date to 
what's going on with a game that you might love to play and there's nothing wrong with introducing your own rules to the game right so what we can do actually we can set up germany right and i was trying to find where the where um they said um the unit placement was going to be and it's on the lid of these boxes right so take a look so germany gets 11 infantry units three artillery three aaa guns one tactical bomber two strategic bombers so in the old version you only had just bomber you didn't have different types of bombers and strategic bomber i'm assuming it's uh bombing the factories and tactical bomber would be bombing the troops uh is that true lebaron and then what's the other one Boop. uh major industrial complex oh there's major it must be minor as well then cool cool northern africa was where the main action was in world war ii it was extremely important africa there was one battle in africa where i forget where it was i remember this through reading history and stuff like this and playing squad leader a lot and uh, panzer blitz and other war games where the german tanks were advancing they had basically won a certain region but they ran out of fuel and they all the tanks stopped and then the allies came in and just picked them off boof 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 so one of the most important things really with any war the most important thing with any war really uh, there, there are a handful there's morale technology and all that but the most important thing with any war any war is supply chain right if the supply chain is severed and troops front lines are separated the ones that are cut off from the supply chain are extremely vulnerable and if you're going to be attacking your enemy that is where you need to focus once you sever the supply chain hit up hit them up hard right the ones who've been severed right and once you devastate them then you solidify your front lines right and if you can send some paratroopers or whatever you can to the back line and divert the attention of the enemy so they can shore up the holes that they have in their back lines as well and that totally disrupts uh, your enemy when you're fighting them right and that applies to war games that applies to real life historical war and that applies to the present regarding supply chains and war right Ch -ch -ch lions how are you doing welcome to another last stream uh platonic pluralist uh platonic where you always get this little notice a uh, suspicious user uh twitch says hi late but happy to be here nice to have you platonic pluralist lebaron war of the ring by aries games is an excellent middle earth game if that's what you're looking for oh really very nice thank you for the recommendation lebaron and i forget who was asking but uh there you go war of the rings pond if this game was made in 2022 every country would spend all their industrial production credits on on injunctions the battle of el alamin well, lions is that the is that the african one is that the african one where the the german tanks ran out of fuel pasta supply chain was weak for the Italians, so they change sides. Platonic plurus says, "Crazy poor Athens." Seems they made an Ax Axis ally zombie apocalypse version of the board game. Really? Politics? Yes. Please, even though this is a board game, please keep politics on politics live streams, and we're gonna do one tomorrow at two p.m. my time. Current events. Drop in. We talk. We talk pawn i just bought axis and analyzed the zombies version not even joking it exists awesome so gang let's crack this open and put some of the german units on here okay and we're gonna need how come this doesn't have let's check this out hmm. anchor 
Oh, wow. Look at these. I've never seen these before. It's got Anchor. Oops, where is it? Anchor. Play. This is... Uh, uh, these these symbols here are probably the path that planes are going to be taking right because if they fly over anti-aircraft then anti-aircraft gets a shot at these things at the planes that are flying over can knock them down um, I'm assuming these are for major industrial they can build 10 IPC units and these are the minor industrial uh, factories that can build three uh, I'm, I believe crazy uh, LeBaron can correct us we should have chips the old axis and allies game has chips that you can put for units because you don't want to put 11 units on a piece of property let's see if there's any chips here. oh there they are nice so they have put the chips in with the oh this is italy so there's two oh i was like what france this green guy is italy so there's two extra countries that you can play you can play italy and china very cool very cool very cool play of it i'm just catching up with the chat Hi, Deep Flake. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to another live stream. Suhindi. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Crazy what happens. I love it. So, Italy. And check this out. These are uh, sort of uh, chip pieces that we get where we say, instead of like piling, you get 11 units in Germany, right? Up here. But you don't want to put 11 soldiers. The these guys in there so you pile up chips so red is usually five the gray is one unit and i believe the green would be 25 units this would be like las vegas poker chips right void oh my god yes gg how are you doing void right so we're gonna set this up i'm just bringing that out let's put italy away and here's a dice by the way let's put italy away and these are the dice how come only this many dice? You need way more dice than this. That's not enough dice. They only give you three red and three black. That's crazy. We we play this game sometimes. You're rolling like 11, 12, right? That's why we have multiple board games. You just use extra dice. Four extra countries. Now, Italy, France, China, and Anzac. Oh, France as well. That's right. <laughs> France, Axis and Allies, the original, doesn't have France. Four extra. What's Anzac? LeBaron, what's Anzac? So let's cut this. Okay, I'm going to get. I'm gonna get scissors for this. Well, I could do a bite. No, let me get scissors. I have the scissors right here. Oh, Australia and New Zealand. Australia and New Zealand forces. What? No way. Oh, right on. That's right. There's a symbol here. What is that symbol? It's like a crown with spikes on it very cool i'll be right back i got my scissors right here okay here let's put on my glasses this is the German stuff here we'll keep the chips like this for now okay let's roll the crack open the dice we got to crack open the dice I like the hats of the Australian army ah, 
Ah, oh, this. Unfortunately, the British use Anzac forces almost like cannon fodder in some battles. Yeah, same with Canadian forces. Nice, nice. Oh, but yeah, yeah, Canadian as well. They sent Canadians to a battle that was not winnable. Uh, it was on a cliff. Um, what was the name of the battle? And man, that was devastating. These, these ones are all just soldiers. So let's crack these open. Put these guys in here. Boop. Little German soldiers. Check it out. Boop. Little guys. Little German dudes. Right. LeBaron. Also, British India Far East Command is a separate economy. That you can have a separate player control if you like so almost a 10th country 9.5 awesome awesome LeBaron void this game is so good fresh board board are the vibes <laughs> nice so listen do the German setup you know what we'll do uh, we won't set up Germany because that's further up here but we'll start from here greater southern Germany so greater southern Germany where is Greater Southern? There is Greater Southern Germany. Check this out. So Greater Southern Germany, if we're going to set this up, has six infantry, two artillery, and three tanks. Okay. So if you're going to do this, here, we'll lay the chips out here. All right? Let's dump the chips here. So if you're going to have six units, six infantry, you take a five red, and you put a soldier on top of it, and you say that's, greater southern germany that's six soldiers right there and we have two artillery where's our artillery let's crack this open as well because we're going to need artillery Check it out. Boop, boop. i would have to paint them my war hammer <laughs> fight coming <laughs> Artillery. What's the artillery look like? Oh, here's the artillery. This is artillery. These guys are artillery. Check this out. It's like cannon. Right? It's like a cannon. Right? Boom, boom, boom. Right? So we have how many artillery? Two artillery. So you can take, you can either put two. For two, you can just put two artillery. Or you want to keep your board clean. You just take one of these guys. It's one, and you put this on. So you got two artillery, okay? And you have three tanks. Let's bring out the tanks. Oh, they got a little carrier. Thing. You know what? I'm gonna dump this in here too. I'm gonna take these guys and dump them here. Boop. Boop. We need to find tank. There's a tank. There's a German tanks. Made in Switzerland. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. All wars are bankers' wars. Right? Warhammer painting is so good. So we need how many? Three tanks. So we're just going to take three ch two chips. Right? So two chips and a tank. That makes three tanks. So there's our southern Germany. Uh, Slovakia, Hungary. How many is Slovakia, Hungary? Slovakia, Hungary. We got two infantry, one tank, and one fighter. Two infantry. So two infantry. You could just put two soldiers down. Okay. We got one tank. We need a tank. There's a tank. And we got one fighter. Where's our fighter? Here's a fighter. Fighters are amazing, amazing, amazing. And then what do we got? Germany, Germany, Romania. Let's do Romania. What do we got in Romania? In Romania, 
we got two infantry and one tank. So let's just put two infantry and one tank. Boop. Okay. These are pro allies. No one occupies these right now, right? Which is Yugoslavia. It says pro allies, but in the first move, uh, you would just move in there. And uh, LeBaron, this this thing here, these are neutral, I guess, right? Countries they they haven't been conquered yet, so these IPC units don't belong to any country. So I'm assuming this five here that says soldiers. Any country that wants to take over a neutral country has to kill these five units. Is that true, LeBaron? So Germany, in their first move, would automatically want to conquer this, right? Because that's two extra IPC units. So you would probably have to kill five Yugoslavian uh, military units here. Is that true? Those units are infantry. You have to kill. Yes. Okay, cool excellent and that's not something you have to do in the original axis and allies game you just moved in right so this one it costs you to take over neutral territory as it should as it should uh, let's do west germany as well ipc units are less effective than npc units <laughs> funny western germany western germany what do we got in western germany western germany wow look at all this stuff so western germany we get three infantry four mechanized infantry one artillery three aa anti-aircraft uh i believe uh two fighters three tactical bombers air base naval base major industrial complex western germany that's a lot of things uh, that go in there da, 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 da. Uh, LeBaron unless they are pro axes or pro allies they then you can walk in oh okay oh that's good to know uh, walk walk in and gain those troops provided they are pro your side okay so over here Bulgaria let's make sure this thing focuses Doop. Over here, Bulgaria, it says it's pro axis. So all Germany has to do is just move one piece here, right? And now Bulgaria is part of the German Empire, right? And you can just go put that piece there. I'm assuming this is this is the way it works, uh, LeBaron. And now there are four infantry here. So with this one infantry, it means that Germany controls five infantry in this unit. Okay, I'm assuming that's the way it works. Da, 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 da. Platonic Pluris. Yugoslavia doesn't uh, give up easily. France can be convinced, maybe. Right? That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So what did we have in Western Germany? Wow, wow, wow. So much stuff. Three infantry. So we're going to take one soldier and two chips. Two great chips. Right? We're gonna put him here. Let's put him here so we can at least see them. Do we see them? Here, we can move this a little bit further up. Not much more. Okay. So we got three, and Western Germany is huge. It's got sea ports here too, right? So three infantry, four mechanized infantry. I'm assuming these guys are the mechanized infantry. This is something you don't have in the original Axis and Allies game. Right? Uh, so LeBaron, correct. Bulgaria almost always goes to Germany first turn. Cool. I'm assuming Yugoslavia too. Because Italy only has one unit here. So I'm assuming Germany, one of the first things they do is they, they take this out. Boom. Right? most likely right boy aa is not a kitty friendly no it's not a kitty friendly game so what do we got um four mechanized units 
So we take four grays, four, no, three gray chips, three gray chips and a mechanized unit. We stack them and we put them in Western Germany. Right? If you want to see the other view, what it's looking like right now, check that out. So right now, this is what we're looking like. This is the area that we're working with building right now. Okay. Excellent. Let's go back to this view again. Da, 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 da. Good old kingdom of Yugoslavia, the Baron. Yugoslavia depends on the German player. Sometimes they let Italy take them. Really? But then, it, like, one of the things you have to keep in mind with Axis and Allies, by the way, gang, is pretty, really important. It's huge, actually huge, right? One of the most crucial elements of Axis and Allies is infantry attacks with a power of one. They kill when, when they roll one. Right? Correct me if I'm forgetting stuff or the, the mis, misremembering it, LeBaron. But they defend with two. So infantry is extremely important for defense. Okay. So if Germany takes over this area initially in the first turn, when they attack, okay, there's only five in infantry here. But if Italy is going to defend Yugoslavia, they put one more person in there. That means there's six infantry. And if they transport over people here, there might be a huge infantry unit set up here, which you Germany would not really want, right? And whenever you're taking over land masses, you don't want to leave tanks and planes or any anything expensive sitting there by themselves. You always need, i.e., cannon fodder. You always need infantry, if you can manage it, infantry to be in on the front lines of any land masses you have because they defend with twice the power as they attack with okay ridiculously important and it as you can guess it played a huge part for russia okay huge part for russia cheryl i was just thinking something similar earlier uh, more but more how far back is this going to set me in regards to remember the current names. What the hell do I say? Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum, bum. Is it like in chess, the Yugoslav opening? I don't know. What's the Yugoslav opening? Let's do, oh, we're gonna finish uh, Western Germany. One artillery, let's bring in an artillery. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the anti, this is the anti-aircraft. This has got to be anti-aircraft. That guy. The anti-aircraft were generic. It was white generic players. That's the artillery. So one artillery in Germany. Uh, da, 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 da. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia, including the regions of Kosovo and Slovakia. Nice, stable area. <laughs> Nice stable area. <laughs> World wars were fought over those areas. Uh, what else we got? One artillery, three anti aircraft. So I'm assuming this is the anti aircraft, LeBaron. Is that correct? That's got to be the anti aircraft, right? So three of them. So we're going to put two chips on there here. Three anti aircraft basically means if any planes, this is Axis Germany. If any uh, enemy planes fly over this land mass, then anti-aircraft gets to shoot at them, right? And the power of anti-aircraft to kill um, planes, aircraft, is not very powerful. They need to get a one to hit. But when you have three of them, you're rolling with three dice, right? And per plane, right? So if let's say five planes fly over Western Germany, right? There's three aircraft, anti-aircraft here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but they get to roll 
No, is that correct, LeBaron? Am I getting remembering this correctly? Italy would not reinforce Yugoslavia. They are on the axis, which... Oh, what am I thinking? Yeah, that's right. Are you thinking of World War I? I'm thinking of World War One. Uh, my apologies, gang. Yeah, Italy Italy is part of... Uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, axis. They're with Germany. So Yugoslavia is on their own. They're surrounded by axes, right? The example I would give... Oh, Spain's totally neutral. It's not yeah. even... Uh, pro allies Boop. where is a good place where we would have yeah yeah that was a chicho brain fart right Italy was axis there's no doubt about it so what do you call it uh, UK would have to fortify Yugoslavia and you wouldn't you would let Yugoslavia fall you wouldn't want to be placing troops right in the middle middle of the axes right it wouldn't work Right, sorry, Yugoslavia, you're out. Right, Dude, Italy always switches sides halfway. Funny, World War One, World War a little, a little of this, a little of that. Indeed, I still, I still like to use the Great War. The Great War, yeah. World War One and Two were really the same war. Uh, two fighters. Two fighters. We can just put two planes. Okay, two fighters. Doink. Uh, three tactical bombers. So we have two different types of bombers. Check this out. Tactical bombers. And what's the other type of bombers? Strategic bombers. Is tactical the one that hits the... So we got three different types of aircraft in this. You got tactical bombers. Check this out. You got three different types of aircraft, right? That's the fighter. So tactical, strategic. Tactical is the one that shoots bombs uh, units and strategic bombs uh, industrial complexes to reduce the amount of money they have. Is that the case? Oh my god, exactly. Treat of Versailles almost guaranteed. Uh, part two, indeed. Uh, da -da -da. Three tactical bombers. I'm assuming these are the tactical bomber bombers, LeBaron. Is that true? And the bigger ones is the strategic bomber. Dun, 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 dun. Versailles was a cliffhanger. I'm going to put these guys. So we need three tactical bombers. Doing, doing. So we got two chips and a bomber. Wow. So much. First time chat. Hello, hello, ultimate FTW. How are you doing? Welcome to our live stream. Uh, air base. Do we need to put an air base in there? I'm assuming airbase is just, you know, it's an airbase. Uh, there won't be and a major industrial complex. Oh, is that what these are? Where are those? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Are these, are these the airbases? LeBaron, thank you very much for subs oh wow ultimate ftw thank you very much for gifting subs to elder god to bar phase to jumana to james harden 2000 and to happy mnm nine <laughs> nice thank you very much ultimate ftw fun lebaron the Satuka is the tactical. The Ju 88 uh, with two engines is the strategic. Okay, cool. So I'm assuming they they have different uh, ranges, right? Or do they have the same range, both bombers? So the bigger one. Let's make sure. This one is the strategic bomber. 
Okay, so we're supposed to put, yeah, we're supposed to put tactical. So these little guys is the tactical bomber, the mid sized one, and this is the strategic bomber, right? And this is the one that bombs the factories of the other, um, other countries, their, their enemies to cost them money. And you can, the bombers go to a factory and they bomb them, and whatever dice roll they get, that's how much money that that player has to give back to the bank right so you can bankrupt a nation by bombarding them a lot right well, some people will consider that to be a war crime now but hey uh julian assange was trying to reveal those war crimes and look at what they're doing to him so i'm assuming these are the uh navy ports and these are the uh it's not the flight path of the planes but these are actually the air bases right and these are the industrial complexes so we would pop pop out one of these it's got an air base a naval base and these are the naval bases so i'm going to pop out a naval base and a major industrial complex would be one of these so the 10 that you see there that's how many ipc units that landmass can produce right so there's minor uh I guess that's what they call a minor industrial complex that can only produce three IPCs and a major one that can produce 10 IPCs. So we're going to take a major one and put it there too. Okay. So we put major IPC unit there. We have an air base there, right? And naval base. Boop. And it should be two areas you can... Because if you... You can't see it right now, but this has two places that you can build on uh, naval base right. Richard how are you doing hey Chicho long time since I've seen a stream hope you're well bro thank you very much doing very well thank you barf waste to ultimate uh, shucks thanks thank you he says an elder god thanks as well the Baron yes the gray uh, chits are the facilities okay cool 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 excellent so what else we got germany germany we did all those germany in the old uh, axis and allies i believe germany had a location in africa but they don't right now so those are all the german pieces oh we got one more let's do holland belgium as well holland belgium gets four infantry so we're going to take three grays chips and an infantry and put them in Holland, Belgium. You got four infantry there. We got two artillery. Give us two artillery. Here's a chip and an artillery piece in Holland. Boop. Okay. And hold on. Three tanks. Where's the tank? Here's a tank. So we're going to take two chips and a tank and put them in. Holland Whoop. and what else we got and we got one fighter another fighter where's another fighter Whoop. come here and here's a fight another fighter Germany is crazy powerful in Europe right off the bat it's huge it's huge Okay, so we set up all the Germans up here. Let's do France. Let's do France. Where's France? Let's do France. Come here, France. There you are. Let's do France. Here's France. France is over here. France and United States. The United States set up because this is uh, Europe right united states is it's only getting half the box of you know sharing it with france the reason being is because the other board game is pacific and that's going to have a lot of american troops on there as well right so because this world war is split into two pieces oh look at all the americans in this one as well and here's the france right so France doesn't have very many troops, even relative to the United States, just for the Pacific board. Oh no, there's another one here. 
So France has the same, approximately. Okay. So let's do France. France is blue. What does France have? Let's bring up the infantry. France. Let's read France. Oop, here's France. So France. Let's do France. Main France. In France, they get six infantry, one artillery, one tank, one anti-aircraft, one fighter, air base, major industrial complex. So let's put those on there. Okay. Let's cut this. Let's put this here. And all the troops look different, by the way. Check this out. The German troops relative to the French troops relative to the U. Let me crack open the US as well. So you see at least three of the soldiers. Uh, LeBaron, is possible I'm missing some uh, questions because Twitch is working like absolute garbage today. I've been dropped several times. Sorry. Oh, no way. God damn, Twitch. I think there's a lot of people streaming. It's a Sunday, right? And there's a lot of political stuff going on. So people are streaming a lot of political stuff as well. And they're getting huge views. Uh, so here, check this out. Here's what the soldiers look like. Just German, US, and French troop soldiers beside each other, right? So each country has their own unique sort of look to their militaries. Okay. France will have more soldiers when the Americans uh, when the Americans will march towards Germany. Indeed, more people join in. Oh, the German one will put it back here. That's where it was. So France has six infantry. So what we're going to do is take a red chip and a soldier and put it on top. Right. Whenever you can use the higher denomination uh, chips, that way the board doesn't get cl uh, cluttered too much. Oh my God, I have dropped a few times actually. Oh no, I like how Spain is just there having a siesta in every war. Well, Spain after World War II, uh, the allies, right? Like Spain was fascist, right? This is his history, by the way. Spain was fascist. And what happened was the allies cut a deal when they were invading, when they were taking back mainland Europe, Western Europe, they cut a deal, the United States, UK, uh, the Western governments or the allies cut a deal with the fascist government of Spain, where the fascist government of Spain would not resist the landings of the allies in Europe, Western Europe, as long as they allowed the fascist regime to keep power in Spain after Germany and Italy had fallen, right? And that's why uh, the war in Spain continued after World War II, right? That's why a lot of people uh, were really devastated uh, and they joined the forces to fight the fascists in Spain because the governments of UK and United States specifically cut a deal with the fascist government there saying they would leave them alone, right? Spain gave aid and comfort to Hitler. Indeed, indeed. Uh, pawn, that's what Elder God said in Pawn. Orwell's interpretation of fascism was garnered in Spain. What else we got in France? We got one artillery. We're going to crack open this as well. Let's crack open this as well. I like the French troops. They're nice, light blue colored. They got like a happy look to them. Oh, what time is it? It's 12.30. We only got half an hour left. Oh, my God. What? What do we need? What do we need? One tank. One tank. That's all we got? That's pathetic. One tank in France. <laughs> Dang. One anti-aircraft. No. Uh, yeah. A, 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 A. I'm assuming it's anti-aircraft. Where's the anti-aircraft here? There it is. Here's the anti-aircraft, right? One anti-aircraft. 
Uh, one fighter. Oh, man. Now we know why they got run over so fast. One air base. We need a... Where is our thing? We need these guys. Boop. All right, one air base. Boink. Uh, one major industrial complex pop in one of these guys. Boop. Put it there. And what else? Oh, that's it. They got two infantry in United Kingdom and one fighter in the United Kingdom. That's up there. <laughs> what are they doing there? <laughs> two infantry? Okay, we'll leave the United Kingdom one alone. We'll fill up the main area, right? Uh, Normandy. What do they got in Normandy? One infantry. Oh, that's it. Dang. Uh, one artillery. Oh, man. One artillery. Right? Uh, one naval base. Let's bring out a naval base. Boop. Let's pop one of these babies out. Right? One naval base. Uh, one major industrial complex. One major industrial complex. One major industrial complex. And by the way, LeBaron, um, when a certain country is leaving a landmass, can they do scorched earth and can they still do scorched earth and destroy their complexes and their naval bases and stuff? I'm assuming they can. Gaming stream needs three hours. I know that I, <laughs> we do. Unfortunately, I set up two. Uh, Aldegas says France could have ended the war in 1940. Unfortunately, they were sleeping on the job. They did. They did. Uh, what else we got there? And that's it. That's all they got in Normandy. One soldier, one artillery, naval base, <laughs> and then major industrial complex. Dang. Uh, southern France, southern France. Check this out. Southern France. We got one infantry, one artillery, naval base, major industrial, minor industrial complex. Oh, that's a minor industrial complex in Normandy. Minor. Let's take the 10 out. It's supposed to be a minor one. Minor. And you need Ziploc bags, gang, by the way. For Axis and Allies, you need to buy Ziploc bags and get Ziploc bags because after you take your units down, you put everything in their own Ziploc bags. You don't leave them in boxes loose like this because you don't want like these things to be all scattered all over the place. You want them to be contained, right? Pawn Scorched Earth card in Gwent seems less original now. Yeah, Scorched Earth... Axis and allies have scorched earth from day one in their rules, I believe. Okay, so we're doing uh, southern France. Southern France, let's do one infantry, one infantry, one artillery, one artillery, uh, naval base. We need a naval base, and we need a minor industrial complex naval base and a minor industrial complex and that's it um we can do africa let's place some units in africa france has got african units so morocco is one infantry easy peasy Boop. we got algeria is one infantry easy peasy Boop. and syria 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 is over here can you see that oh yeah you can see that one infantry in Syria. Where's Tunisia? Oh, Tunisia's got one infantry as well. Boop. And Africa is ridiculously important, gang. Like, really. Troops were sparse, sparse in Africa initially at the beginning of the war, right? But basically, like, I think Elagos said, whoever controlled Africa won the war. Africa was ridiculously important. Okay. Uh, LeBaron, no scorched earth in this one, but major factory turned into minor when captured. Oh, really? The more complex 1936 game I mentioned in the first stream has scorched earth for the Soviets. Really? Interesting. So the naval base stays as well. 
Looking at the setup, I think Germany will win. <laughs> oh, God says. X exit. Hey, Gypsy. Uh, Cyprus is on the map. Cyprus is on the map. Cyprus. UK has a, has, has a control on it, right? Cyprus is huge. It's huge now to a certain degree, by the way. So we've done all of France. Okay, let's do Italy. Let's bring in Italy into the game. Italy. Where is Italy? And by the way, this setup seems to be taking a fair bit of time to do because I'm doing all of it, right? When you're playing a game, there's one person setting up their own pieces for all this, right? And they're not really talking. They're just setting up. So this goes much quicker when there's the optimum number of players playing and they're all putting on their pieces, right? And once you play this game a few times, you know what goes where, right? They still have their bases there. Cyprus. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing Italy. Let's set up Italy. Italy's brown. Let's crack open Italy. Italy's made in China. Look at this. The stuff says made in China. The pieces. So we got Italy. Let's crack this one open too. It's cool that there's China on the game, on the board. And Italy and France. Oh, sorry, that might have been a little too loud. I got a little too excited. Italy, Northern Italy. Let's see. Okay, Southern Italy. Let's start off with Southern Italy first. So Southern Italy has six infantry, two anti-aircraft, two fighters, one air base. Whoop. What's the other one? Naval base, that should say. Come on. Boop. Naval base minor industrial complex so let's put those things on there cyprus now uh -huh. so we got six infantry is southern italy red chip and an infantry on top we got two anti-aircraft anti-aircraft yeah anti-aircraft we need anti-aircraft Here we go. Two anti-aircraft. Two fighters. The planes we can put just separate again, which is fine. Because planes you usually use when you're attacking. Uh, you can use planes going to the same place, but usually if you're splitting up your forces you're attacking multiple territories you send in soldiers and a fighter with them because fighter attacks with a four infantry attacks with a one right i believe fighter no if a fighter attacks with a three bomber attack, oh man i forget i gotta look all these up every time we haven't played for a while as you can guess because of you know lockdowns and stuff game alternative history good evening elfida good evening from the nor Northern lands, Chicho. How are you doing? Doing well, Fida. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well as well. Air base. We got one air base. Let's crack open an air base. Uh, air base. We got a naval base. And we got a miner. So I'm going to crack this open as well. So I'm grabbing all three at the same time. And we're going to put them all here. That's southern. southern um, italy and then we've got northern italy we've got two infantry let's do two infantry northern italy we got uh, two artillery we got two artillery let's put two artillery there. and after the and before things go uh once everyone's set up it looks cluttery after everyone's gone one round it clears up a lot. There's a lot of death and destruction after the first cycle, right? Uh, LeBaron, correct. Basis stay. The 1936 has the Spanish Civil War, Chinese Civil War. So both Spanish factions, the CCP, Turkey, Canada, and Nor Northlands all become playable. Very cool. Because nine countries isn't enough. Platonic, the 1936 game is more historical 
includes the build-up to war starting in 1939. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. What else we got? One tank. Here's a tank in Italy. Uh, -dum -bum -ba -da -da -dum -bum. Uh, one strategic bomber. That's one of the big guys. One strategic bomber. Major industrial complex and a major. How come no naval base there? Huh, interesting. No naval base in northern Italy. Major industrial complex. I'm going to put it there. Boop. Okay. Which country has the 50k dragger units? That country wins. That's my country, Canada. <laughs> but again, do not, do not forget. In times of war, we always need truth tellers. So we have to free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or, or Julian Assange on Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. Oh, look, God, I still use Holland. Never liked the Netherlands. Huh. Holland and Netherlands are different. I think Netherlands includes a little bit extended properties, no? Pond? Land masses. Da, da, da. Sicily. Hold on. What else we got? We got Albania. Albania. Albania, Italy's got one troop. Uh, Tobruk. Tobruk. Where's Tobruk? Man, now I don't know my geography. Oh, there it is. Tobruk. Tobruk. What? The name changed. Tobruk. We got three. Infantry in Tobruk, Alexandria, Egypt. We got Egypt, Alexandria, Tobruk, Libya. Wow, wow, mean different places. Yeah, I like Brabant. Holland is in the Netherlands. Holland is in the Netherlands. Yeah, Tobruk or not Tobruk. <laughs> Platonic learn funny. Oh my god, yes. Like UK England. Like UK England. So Tobruk has three infantry, one mechanized infantry. Let's find a mechanized. Oh, look at the mechanized infantry of the Italians. Cool. Look at that. Boop. Nice little truck. Mechanized infantry. Uh, one artillery. Here's an artillery. And one tank here's uh the tanks are different as well by the way gang okay here's a tank Boop. what else we got uh ethiopia two infantry one artillery ethiopia is down here so uh we're not gonna bother like it's down here so you can't see it uh what else we got oh sea zone dun, 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 dun. where is where's libya Libya, one infantry, one artillery. One infantry, one artillery. And Libya, let's do that. One infantry, one artillery. And we got navy. Let's put a navy. One transport, one submarine, one destroyer, one cruiser in C Zone 95. Very cool. So check that out. Here's the our first navies is coming in. Uh, C Zone. One transport, one submarine, one destroyer, one cruiser very cool very cool pays bus is nice different revolutions coops nether realm actually another realm. so what do we got one transport let's see okay this is a destroyer where's the sub here's here's a sub Where's the tran Oh, here's a transport and one cruiser. Which one is the cruiser? Cruiser is new. We don't. You don't have cruiser in the old Axis and Allies game. So let me see. 
Is that a battleship? Submarine destroyer. Wait a second. That's a transport submarine. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Cool. We didn't have. So I'm assuming the battleship is the bigger one. Let me show you this. Here's the Navy stuff. And there's, there's aircraft carrier as well. Italy has, but not on this one. So check this out. This is the transport. Okay. This is transport. Okay. In C zone 95. And then we got one submarine. This is a submarine. Okay. Little skinny guy. One destroyer and one cruiser. So I'm going to, this is the aircraft carrier. So we're going to put that on the side here. But check this out. In the old one, you have a battleship. You don't have um, destroyer cruiser. I can't remember. That's the battleship, I'm assuming. And these are the destroyers and the cruisers, I'm guessing. Right? So battleship is the bigger one. So you're going to put these guys in there very cool and then what do we got season 96 one transport one destroyer one transport we need a destroyer i'm assuming this is a destroyer i'm assuming that guy is a destroyer cruiser no a destroyer would be the mid mid-size one maybe i would have to look this up Maybe that's the destroyer. I think this one is the destroyer. Okay. Seaboard 96. One transport. One and Seaboard 97. 97 here. We have one transport, one cruiser, one battleship. That's a cruiser, I'm assuming. Here's a battleship and the transport in 97 97 so italy starts off with a pretty nice navy very cool oh how we doing oh gang we're gonna go a little bit over pond is there a piece for f935 fighter jets in the mediterranean for the planes that fall off british air uh, craft uh, air air carriers after leaving the rain cover haha <laughs> Uh, LeBaron, correct. No cruiser or destroyer in the original. Yeah, no cruiser or destroyer in the original. Very cool. Empire. Yuki. All that navy and no base. No, there's a base in southern Italy, but just one base. I'm surprised there's no base in northern Italy in there. All right. So that's Italy. What else do we need to do? We just need to put UK in here now. And that's it uk uk where is our uk there's uk so let's do uk Whoop. oh we got russia up here too but we're not gonna have time to do russia damn russia is really important russia was key gang by the way and gang uh, history 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 the only reason the fascists or the main reason that the fascists uh, in Europe were not able to take control was because Russia. 80 plus percent of German forces, German capacity to wage war was on the east, oops, eastern front. Okay. Really. Most of German forces were focused on fighting Germany. Okay. If Germany had not picked the fight with Russia, the Allies could never have taken Europe, Western Europe. They would have been defeated. They would have been just blown off the seas. Okay. So World War II, it's not really taught in Canada, United States well. Okay. Because the main focus is landing in Normandy and landing in southern Italy and all this jazz and all the Hollywood movies and stuff. They show you how the Allies, how UK and the United States came and won World War II, right? 
but that's not really true okay we had a part to play in it but the main battles the biggest ones and the reason why nazi germany lost was because they were waging majority of their capacity war capacity uh, on the eastern front okay Genoa or Stalingrad Stalingrad was crazy you said uh, fighting itself right da, 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 da. Uh, there's a giant hand over the continent <laughs> same UK Russia is ignored at school are they pawn yeah it's very unfortunate in Canada big time Canada big time Germany is some sense fought itself yeah the main losses and lives were on the um the, 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 where is it the main losses and lives were on the soviet side indeed huge 50 million i think or 75 million hitler knew in advance germany couldn't fight on two fronts uh but fo fought it anyway yeah allow Boop. for some reason uh frank automat didn't like the word hitler crazy the censorship is censoring out the word hitler auto censorship on from uh twitch I did a fair bit on it in military school so what are we doing we're doing uk i don't know how much of uk we're going to be able to place we'll just place it here let's go uk we got uk alexandria alexandria two infantry one artillery one tank two infantry one artillery uh -huh. one tank <laughs> look at the british tank Oh no, that's the thing. One tank. Egypt, Egypt. What do we got in Egypt? Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Two infantry. No, yeah, two infantry in Egypt. One artillery. One artillery. And one naval base. We need a naval base. We need a naval base. Boop. Naval base. Let's put it here. Suez Canal. Transjordan. Very cool. Transjordan. Where's Transjordan? Oh, it doesn't look like uh, Transjordan gets any pieces. No, Transjordan doesn't get, doesn't get any land pieces. Okay, I guess that's just connected with uh, Egypt. Uh, Cyprus. Let's see what Cyprus gets. What Cyprus get? Let's check it out. Does Cyprus get anything? Oh, boo! Cyprus doesn't even get any in infantry. Anglo Egyptian Sudan. Oh, Sudan's down here, so we're not going to bother. We can't see Sudan. Union South Africa. We don't see West Indies. Buh, 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 buh france oh our uk puts artillery in france oh uk puts artillery in france and one tank in france that's good support support the french there you go Boop. right curriculum changes this one da, 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 da. well there isn't a whole lot there around four hours of someone else after the I remember this game advertised on comic books growing up cool comic books comic books I'm gonna uh, on the chat just gonna see if anything's directed towards me and I'm just gonna read LeBaron's uh, comments for now until we get this set up if uh, just in case I'm not doing something correctly Malta there's nothing on Malta it's just oh no there is Malta has infantry. Haha, <laughs> crazy. Malta has infantry. One AA anti aircraft and that little island. And a fighter. Very cool. UK in the house in Malta. Uh, Gibraltar. What does Gibraltar have? Gibraltar. One fighter, one naval base. That's it? One fighter? Gibraltar and a naval base. We need a naval base. And a naval base. 
Now, UK, we can't see up there, up here, so we're not going to bother putting anything there. What else we got? I think that's it for what we see on the board. You want to see the other angle so far, what it looks like? Check this out. Dun, 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 boop. This is what we got so far here. Let me bring this down a little. Check that out. All right. And that's just this zone. We got a whole board game to go through. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Platonic Polaris. Trans Jordan was way ahead of his time. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Um, so that would be the setup just for this area, right? And then I forget who goes first. I think Germany moves first. Uh, Le Baron, if I recall correctly, Pawn. I can see the UK if I look out my window. So don't worry about viewing angles. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Funny. Charles Lavin. Uh, ah, the game reminds me that I wanted to watch Catch-22. Spielberg were spanking, uh, spanking it to World War II long before the rest of the world became enamored. Crytean, hey Chicho, this is the second time I get to watch you live. Awesome, glad to have you, glad to have you. Glad to have you, glad to have you. So gang, this is, I know we didn't get too far into this thing, but it is what it is, right? Uh, at some point, we're going to do more of this. Um, I'm going to see what I can do. Uh, we definitely, I think, I definitely have to play a few games with my gaming group to be able to talk more about this game and how how it plays out uh it it's it looks amazing and LeBaron brother pff, thank you very much for the care package thank you very much uh for sending us this board game very much appreciated uh LeBaron the battle over the med in this game is amazing really as is the campaign for Japan to try and take islands southeast uh asia india so way down here yeah in, in here the island if you go navy battle in axis and allies it is brilliant brilliant so expensive one battle can destroy your campaign can destroy your campaign right and the mediterranean here with the navy battles would be amazing germany we didn't even get into uh setting up the navies oh we didn't yeah we didn't see all the navy uh because the navy would be in the northern part of it very cool frank japan turned korea into brothel uh guessing that's not uh covering this no i don't think so and japan occupied korea for like 500 years uh, pre world war ii right so it was pretty there's a lot of dark history there right on the military side of the war gang let's call the stream let's call the stream it was fun cracking this open amazing cracking this open really wow 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 japan destroyed a lot everybody destroyed a lot everybody destroyed a lot germany destroyed a lot uk destroyed a lot us destroyed a lot. that's what war is they destroy a lot after world war ii was done 19 45 1946 ussr destroyed a lot in the eastern Bloc. there is a lot of death and destruction all over the place gang all over the place oh boo i'm not ready i know cheryl <laughs> i destroyed my dinner <laughs> when can we enjoy the next cookie i know plutonic we're getting there this battle for canada right now is has turned in favor of the population of canada and uh, we see the end coming soon but slowly we're going to start getting back into our regular regularly scheduled live streams of cooking comic book readings mathematics eating videos uh playing board games music asmr and all that jazz gang all that jazz imagine if assange was born early enough to document the war whoa 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 well he did document a lot of the current wars and powers are trying to destroy him which is why why we have to focus on 
freeing Julian Assange, freeing Assange, freeing Assange, freeing Assange, right? Because Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity, something that we desperately need. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange on Wikileaks playlist on Censored Tube. Frank, you bristling against COVID restrictions. Plus, sending Canadians my best wishes and respect for standing up against oligarchic hegemony. Thank you very much, Platonic. Appreciate it. Gang, thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, all the support. Thank you, LeBaron, for sending us this amazing or these amazing board games and supporting this work. If you want to know what this work is about, gang, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C H Y C H O. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this, and I appreciate it very much. And I know a lot of people appreciate what we are doing. So thank you from all of us. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in these live streams, Twitch is where you want to be at, gang. And thank you again for the support on Twitch. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this with the support we're getting on Patreon. And mods, as always, thank you very much for being here and taking care of business. We would not be able to do what it is that we are doing without you guys being here i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on my svk gap parlor getter and bitcloud and we do have a discord page and you are definitely welcome to join us on our discord server the links for which all these platforms will be in the description of this video once it's been loaded up and we do have a games folder as well so you're definitely welcome to talk about board games and whatnot there LeBaron for sure can't wait for the report once you play yeah me too I can't wait to play it with my gaming group put aside a weekend and we would just go ballistic on this thing phenomenal phenomenal wage wars let's see how the campaigns play out right we do upload audio of live streams where we don't have any visuals to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as podcasts and those podcasts are available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes thank you other god for linking those up upon you make board games into bo board games into board games haha <laughs> funny 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 and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor to to bitch you to rumble and to odyssey cat bobs damn i'm late cat bobs you missed the board games live stream but thanks for popping in thanks for popping in so this live stream will be uploaded to all four of those video sharing platforms and again gang thank you very much for being here super fun very this was sitting on my in in the room i was looking at it constantly oh, i gotta crack it open gotta crack it open gotta wait gotta wait gotta wait until we can do it alive and i'm glad we did it live live long you guys as well gang gang and if you want to participate in another live stream we're having one on current events tomorrow from 2 to 4 p.m okay pdt pst my time west coast canada where we're going to talk about current events and that includes war Hope you can join us, Cheryl. Better late than never, Kebabs. Indeed. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Indeed. Definitely. Gang, I hope you have a fantastic Sunday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it. Bye, everyone.